Hey guys, it's Michael Kummer here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a barrel feeder out of this plastic bucket from Home Depot. And we can use that to very efficiently feed our bees with sugar water. And the advantage of doing a barrel instead of um, individual hive feeders or maybe even a, a frame type of feeder is that we can get a lot of sugar water in here so we don't have to replace or refill it as often. Now before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click on the little alert button so you get notified when we publish more videos like this. The advantage of that bucket is it has these little compartments here, as you can see. So what we can do is we can drill holes, tiny holes uh, from the inside through here, only through this layer of the bucket, not through the second one here. And uh, you can, we can then do a close-up so you can see what's going on. But basically what I'm doing here, I'm holding it up against the light so I can see this rim here basically shining through and then know where to, to drill. So I'm marking this, these holes with a Sharpie. And if we hold it up here against the light, you can see what I mean. And I want to make sure the hole is here towards the, the upper end here because we're going to ultimately flipping that bucket around so it's going to be on the bottom. And what's gonna happen is if we fill this bucket with sugar water, obviously with a lid on, then the sugar water will escape through these tiny holes. And in the beginning it might splash a little and run over, but as soon as the, um, there is a uh, vacuum basically then inside, it's gonna stop running. And the bees are gonna be able to just come here and feed on that. And this bucket holds, I think it's a five gallon bucket, so I'm gonna fill it with a five gallon sugar water. And um, that's gonna be enough for depending on the size of your colony, obviously, but uh, for our two small hives uh, that we just got, that's likely going to be enough to get them started. And we'll do the same in, um, in fall before we get ready for winter. So I'm just going to keep marking my drill holes like so. I'm gonna use this drill now and I use the tiny at the smallest bit I had. I think it's a 164th or so. You only wanna drill a hole into the first one and as soon as I feel like there is no resistance anymore, I'm gonna stop pushing. So now we have all these holes, we're gonna wipe off the Sharpie, make sure there are no pieces of plastic in there, even though it's probably not gonna matter. Uh, fill it with sugar water. Uh, right now it's uh, July and we just got our nukes, so they get, need to get started. We're gonna use a one-on-one, -on -one, a one-to-one -one ratio of water and sugar. Um, put it in there, close it up, and then drop it up like so, and the bees are gonna be able to empty that bucket probably in a couple of days. That's it. Found our feeding bucket, which is awesome. So we can now barrel feed them here far away from the hive so there is no or at least a reduced chance of robbing so it's like a community feeder if you will i'm sure there are other bees that don't belong to our hives which is fine and i'm not really too concerned about the spread of disease because you know bees forage on the same type of food naturally anyway so this is just another example of that. Well, not, not necessarily a natural one, but you get the point. And so we'll see how long it takes to empty that and then we'll probably put out another one and that should get our two nukes uh, started strong and healthy for in preparation for the winter. I wonder how many foreign bees are here as well. Judging by the fact that a bunch fly in this direction over there, I'm guessing these are not ours, unless they are, don't take the direct path back, which would be that way. <laughs> 